Hey guys, Ivan here, and only a couple of hours ago I uploaded a video. In this video, I gave you the list, the official list of the competitors, the scoreboard card actually. And there was no Nathan the Asha on this list. And many people actually asked me in the comments, where is Nathan the Asha? And I had no idea, I had no idea why is he not on the list. But about an hour after I uploaded the video, Nathan the Asha made a post on his Instagram account, and this was the post, he basically is saying that he's not gonna be the Mr. Olympia. Now why is that? Let's read, let's see what he has to say. Hi guys, so unfortunately I've just received some bad news that's going to affect my ability to take part in this year's Mr. Olympia competition. If you're not aware, my name was used in an investigation earlier this year concerning performance enhancing drugs. I'd like to make it very clear that I did not supply any performance enhancing drugs at all. Little did I know that the gym was involved in the sale of not only pets, but also class A drugs. The police had been watching this chap and his wife for a very long time. Since then, these two people have been convicted and charged. The lady in question got a suspended sentence and my charge is far less than hers, so no imprisonment will happen. I have literally just received a letter informing me that my sentence date is the Monday 10 a.m. after the Olympia. It's impossible for me to compete and be back in time for this. Speaking to my legal team, we have decided that it's best to represent myself at a hearing with all evidence and paperwork. Missing this appointment could add to my sentencing and that's not in the best interest of myself or my family. Life teaches you some hard lessons. And call me naive, but I've had conversations with the gym owners worldwide about pets and I wouldn't have seen this coming. It's unfortunate and it's a tough pill to swallow, especially knowing that I'm looking my best ever and yet to display it. That said, there is no hurdle that I can jump over. It's obstacles like this that really test us mentally and physically. I'm a fighter and a winner. So I know, in 2020, I'm going to be better than ever. My outlook on life has most definitely changed and that my mindset is stronger than ever. I'd like to take a moment to thank my sponsors, my partner, my family and all my friends for their continued support and I can promise them that a scenario like this will never repeat. I'd like to also apologize to the IFBB Pro League and to AMI for not being able to compete this year and can also promise them that moving forwards I will continue to represent the bodybuilding in a positive light, having learned from mistakes I made. Best of luck to all who are competing this weekend in all divisions, and I'll see you all on the circuit in 20. So that's about it. Another bodybuilder, another great bodybuilder out of Mr. Olympia, making this Olympia even less eventful. Nathan Diash, who could have cracked top six, probably, maybe even take like fourth place. Who knows? Who knows? What can he bring really? but it's really sad that he cannot compete. But it is what it is, it's his fault. But in this post, he said that he never did anything like that, but he pled guilty a couple of months ago. I made a video about it. So I'm not sure what did he plead guilty to? I, I don't know. Anyways, um, he's not gonna be the Mr. Olympia. That's for sure. And that sucks. It is what it is. And I just wanted to let you know, guys, what do you think about this? Nathan the Ash out of Mr. Olympia. How do you think Mr. Olympia will be without him? Are you disappointed or do you not even care? Whatever it is, tell me down below in the comment section, like the video and subscribe. All the best guys, bye bye.